All the sun again, being blocked by smoke. Hey, what's up, everybody? Dean Joseph here, and thank you for clicking on this video. First of all, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for blowing up the last video that I posted, World Ending 2023. That video just exploded out of nowhere. But a lot of great feedbacks in that video. Not only did it reach 11,000 views, but a lot of comments of people declaring that Jesus is the right answer for all situations. And it's true. So, in other words, going around and it's happening as we speak, more wild fires. Yep, more wildfires happening in Canada. Is reaching over here. My area, we're in a red zone. So earlier this morning, we did smell the smoke. Not as strong as the last time. I don't know how strong it's supposed to get. But something is fishy. Something is fishy about that. How are we having another wildfire? Because I haven't seen nothing yet, but I'm always on the lookout at on TikTok. Because that's where I mostly get the news. And here it is. You know, here is the smell again. But not as strong as last time. The sky, like, it looks like it's going to rain. But I don't know if it's the smoke or what. Because it's not as strong as last time. Last time was insane. Really insane. The sky was crazy. Like, just how... The smoke covered the sun. It was just so bizarre. But another wildfire. It's... I'm telling you guys. I am not saying the world is ending in 2023. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying this to be prepared for the future when the world really actually ends. Because Jesus Christ is taking his people first. The dead is rising first. Then it's his people and we meet them in the air. We meet Jesus in the air. That's when he comes back for his people. But for those that are left here on earth, they have a second chance for forgiveness. A second chance to ask God for forgiveness. Accept Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. But I'll say this. You don't want to be left behind. The seven year tribulation that's going to take place here on earth the world is not going to end just yet the antichrist has to rise first and rule for seven years and do all these crazy terrible things here on earth but once when his seven year uh, tribulation is up that's when jesus heaven is coming down to earth and destroying this world where jesus will rule but it's going to be a big war at the very end Jesus striking down Satan himself I, I'm telling you these things is going to happen it's crazy that's why it's important we must live by God's words every single day you know I'm a sinner we're all sinners but I want to live by the words that I preach have I been doing that to be honest I'm going to admit I have not not nobody i'm not gonna say not a single everybody in this world is not perfect it doesn't matter who you are nobody's perfect pastors aren't perfect uh, our elders are not perfect nobody's perfect nobody the presidents the uh the popes you know nobody in this world is perfect i'm not even close to perfect i am a sinner but do you know what? I am forgiven and I am loved by our mighty God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The three in one, which is amazing. We we have a mighty God that we, we don't deserve his glory. We don't deserve anything that he gives to us. But remember this. Satan can also gift you things as well. He could make you famous, give you a lot of money, give you fancy things to take you away from God. 
distractions from God. There's a lot of distractions that's taking away your focus on God, on Jesus. Jesus specifically said to his disciples what they must do. Trust in the one that he has sent. That is Jesus Christ, the son of God. Jesus that is alive today, alive and well, up in heaven right now on God's throne on his right side. And Jesus still does amazing wonders. I get it. He's not here physically like how he was back then. But the Holy Spirit is upon you. You just have to open your heart to let the Holy Spirit in. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, let him live in you to control your life for for a good future, not to harm you. A lot of these things happen because people are blinded. People are blinded by a lot of things and letting Satan actually control certain things. That's why I always say Satan is a liar. He's the father of lies. He distracts a lot of people. He manipulates a lot of people. He tempts a lot of people. And a lot of people cave into him without even realizing it. Has it happened to me? Absolutely. I'm somebody that struggled with pornography. Caving into that is one thing. God looks at every sin the same. There is no differences. They're all equal. All sins are equal. That's cheating, lying, stealing, uh, caving into pornography. Uh, so a lot. Of, there's a lot of things that I could list, but they're all equal in God's eyes. So yes, all these things are happening around us as we speak. Wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, wars, all these things happening. Uh, murder rates are even going up. <laughs> all these horrible things, but they have to take place because all the prophecies have to be fulfilled for anything to happen. And it's amazing. All these prophecies are being fulfilled as we speak. Just think about it. Things that are written in the word of the Holy Bible are happening as we speak. But yet people still don't open their eyes. People still don't believe. Why? Because they just think it's a man-made thing and they just are binding with it to just let it happen. You're going to let Satan blind your eyes again. Because once when he comes, that's why me and my wife looked at the vaccines when COVID happened. We do believe it was a test trial for chips to happen. Because pretty soon, pretty soon, I don't know if you guys know, but banks are collapsing and dollar monies are going to be like it's, it's extinct. They're going to be extinct. Where we're just going to be using cards. And later on, you're going to probably be using a chip. But that's why I, I say everybody should... Get right with Jesus right now. Get right with God. Because if you're left behind and if you don't take the number, the mark of the beast, you're done. <laughs> you know, you're done. And I'm telling you, he is not your best friend. He's not. He doesn't care about you. He could care less about you. That's why these things happen. These things happen. Oh, why does God let certain things happen? It's not on god it's up to you all right people get abducted uh certain things happen to people that's not god's fault satan i get it god could stop it but our faith must be remain strong 
Because for those that hold on to their faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, your reward is going to be the most treacherous thing unimaginable. Unimaginable. I'm telling you right now, guys, heaven. So you know how we have gold, gold on earth. Gold is very precious and valuable here on earth. Big bucks, big money, right? That's what you think of. But in heaven, there's streets made of gold. Where up in heaven, we don't need to wear gold. We're not even going to like sell gold or nothing because it's all there. And we're walking rich in the kingdom of heaven. Because kingdom, the kingdom of heaven alone is precious. Better than anything here on earth. I'm telling you guys that. I heard, I. this is why I love testimonies where people do have dreams and visions. Say they met God. They saw hell. They saw heaven. One that touched me really great actually. And I always wanted to like swim in the ocean. A beautiful clear ocean with sharks. Call me crazy. But with sharks and whales and like all these other things. Somebody had a dream that they saw the water. It was clear clear so clear but so beautiful and they got to swim with different creatures because up in heaven there's no more death no more pain no more suffering a lion sleeps with a lamb i want to pet a lion that's that's definitely what i want to do it's just go up to a lion and just be like oh animals lions are my favorite animals okay but to be in that ocean and you could go under, you're not going to drown and you're going to come back up dried. Tell me that's not crazy. I don't want to say crazy, but tell me that's not awesome. <laughs> oh man, I could go on for days, but I just wanted to say that guys, you know, this is probably a part two of World Ending 2023. <laughs> but just know that Jesus loves you. God loves you no matter what. And on the Howells YouTube channel, me and my wife, we're going to be talking about the foods that is on markets that shouldn't be. That's causing health issues, cancers all these other things we're going to be talking about that it's so important that we need to discuss about our foods because there's a lot of things that is happening as we speak now so i'll say this me and my wife have gone switched over to a lot of organic foods nothing really man-made anymore and I tell you this, I feel a lot better ever since we've gone organic and drinking a lot more water. I don't know if you guys can see a little difference in me, but I'll just say that right now. So if you guys want to know more about that video we're going to do, subscribe to the Howells channel. Link in the description down below, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for the love and support. You guys are awesome. And subscribe to this channel. Because we're going to speak real words, real truth. And I know a lot of people is going to disagree and agree. But that's okay. That's why we are here. For us that knows these things, we're here for a reason to spread the message. Not to scare anybody, but to let them see the bright, the brightness around all of this. And that is Jesus. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. See you all next time.